guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my children's favorite books. You guys seem to love the video that I put out of my children's favorite toys. So I thought let's do books because we have accumulated so many over the years. I have an eight year old, a five year old and a two year old. And I'm only gonna show you books today that all three of them have really, really loved. So hopefully they are tried and tested and most children will like them. I'm also gonna group them in age order because I obviously have like toddler age, five year old age, and then older sort of like like short novels for my eldest. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna whiz through because I have so many to show you. So I'm gonna start out with toddler books. Some of these may seem really obvious, but they are really good books, so I wanted to include them. So the first one is Dear Zoo. Some of you will probably know this. My children have even done it at school. So it's all about animals at the zoo. But what my kids really like about it is there is like a flap on each page to show the animal and yeah, all three of them have loved this one. Another bestseller that all my kids have loved is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. It has lovely illustrations in it, really, really bright and colorful. And it's all about how a caterpillar goes from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly. They love the pages with all the food, especially this one where it says that a caterpillar eats all of these things to become a butterfly. So they love that one. Jackson wants to be in this now. But another book by Eric Carle, which they've all loved, is Mr. Seahorse. It has the similar like bright colors in it like the Hungry Caterpillar does. Um, but it's all about how seahorses, like the daddy actually carries the baby and it has all different fish in it um, that are fish that are male that carry the babies. That sounds really weird, but it's a really cute book and all the boys have really liked it. This next book I'm sure some of you will be aware of. It is Love You Forever by Robert Munch. This book made me cry when I was pregnant. My grandmother sent it to me when I was pregnant with my first and she wrote a little note in it just there. I think it's such a nice idea that when you gift a book, you write a personal message and date it as well. Because my grandma did that and she's not very well um, at the moment. And it's just really special um, having this from her. But it's a really emotional book. It's all about how you'll love your baby forever. You have to go and um, have a look at it. I actually liked it so much. I took one of the quotes from the book and made it into a print and put it up in um, Jackson's nursery. So yeah, I'd really recommend this one. It's, it's probably more for the mum than the kids. Like my kids do like it, but I probably like it more. Um, and yeah, it'd be good for like a baby shower even. This is another really lovely book which I was gifted from a friend and it's called The Wonderful Things You'll Be by Emily Winfield Martin. It has beautiful um, illustrations in it and a really nice message as well. At the beginning of the book, they're like, oh, I wonder who you'll grow up to be. And then by the end of the book, it sort of says like, I, you know, I'll love you whoever you are, like when you're older. And it's really, really lovely. So this again would be a lovely gift for a baby. Next up is Each Peach Pear Plum. I bought this because I loved it as a child myself. It's almost like a mini Where's Wally or Where's Waldo book. So basically they talk about a nursery rhyme on each page and then you have to find um, whoever they say in the images. And my kids have really enjoyed it. So this one says, Each Peach Pear Plum, I Spy Tom Thumb. And so you have to find Tom Thumb in the pictures. And they do that on every page. And it's a really fun like interactive little book. So I really like that one. Another book they've all enjoyed is this one 10 wriggly wiggly caterpillars i think they like it because the um little caterpillars on it are like 3d and at the back they used to have 10 butterflies but it's so worn all of our kids have ripped them out but i don't know what it is about this book but they've all really loved this one the next one is there was an old lady who swallowed a fly so i actually bought this book in a charity shop when Fraser was very little, like we didn't have much money and I used to go into charity shops and like buy old toys or books and this one they have just really really loved. It's quite old and worn um, but it's all about this lady who swallows a fly and then she swallows something to catch the fly and like by the end she swallowed a cow and she actually dies. It's actually a horrible book but my kids love it. You might know the nursery song that goes with this book um, but yeah they've all really really liked it. And then the next one is another one that I had as a child which is Good Night Moon. Um, again it's a book where on each page you have to find 
the little mouse. Well, you don't have to, but there is a little mouse on each page, so we always try and find it. It's got lots of lovely colors. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a particularly amazing story or anything, but all the kids have really liked it, um, even from a very young age. So yes, Good Night Moon is a good one. I've talked about the That's Not My Books before. These are great for very little babies from about five, six months. They can feel the different textures which are in the book. So each page has like smooth or rough or soft or furry, um, and they can kind of feel the pages, and all of mine have really liked that. And the last one in the toddler section is the One Mole Digging the Hole. This is such a worn book because all of mine have loved it. It's really, really simple, but I feel like it helps the kids um, learn their numbers. So it's just like one mole digging a hole, and then it's like two snakes with garden rakes. It all rhymes, and mine actually end up memorizing it, and then they can read the book to me in the end. Now moving on to slightly older books, probably from three years old and up. Daddy Sandwich is a great one. This is such a cute book because the little girl in it, she makes her daddy a sandwich and she puts all his favorite things in it, but some of those things aren't food. She'll put like his bike and a trampoline and she'll put like his camera and his tool belt and all of those things. And then by the end, she has a really funny, huge sandwich and the boys get a real kick out of it. They really like this one. Um, next up is Jampires. I love this book so much. It is about these little little animals that aren't vampires, they sneak into your house at night and they steal your jam from donuts. Um, so yeah, he catches them stealing the jam and then they become like friends and he goes to the jampire world where there's all like sugar plums and lollipops and all of that stuff. Um, but it's a really funny, cute book. Um, so yeah, I'd really recommend Jampires. Um, next one, they have loved the series of the dinosaur that pooed. So my boys love dinosaurs and they love talking about poo. And I don't think it's just a boy thing. I know lots of girls that want to talk about poo as well. So this is a great book. It's by Tom Fletcher and Dougie Pointer. And um, yeah, it's just really funny. Like the dinosaur poos basically. Um, but it's got, it's like all rhyming and cute. And there are loads in the series. So we also have the dinosaur that pooed Christmas, the dinosaur that pooed the past, the dinosaur that pooed daddy. Um, there's lots in the series and they really like it. It. And then another one that I have bought multiple books of is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. This was the first one and it's really cute and I think it's like, yeah, bestseller or award winning or something. But basically it's like um, the bus driver is like, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And then the pigeon's like, please can I drive the bus? And your child almost shouts back to them like, no. Um, and they like talk to the book. But it's a really, really good book. It's so simple, but they love it. They love it so much that I bought the, the bus one. Then I bought um, the duckling gets a cookie and don't let the pigeons stay up late. They like all of those. Oh, and pigeons have feelings too. So it just went on and on because they enjoyed it so much. Then we are huge fans of Robert Munch in this house. Being Canadian, he is a very popular author in Canada. So this one is called Pigs. It's a really good funny book, but this one is my ultimate favorite. This is like a girl power book. I find myself buying this for my friends' little girls. Yes, it was called The Paper Bag Princess, and it's all about a princess who is marrying a prince, but then a dragon comes along and steals the prince, but she manages to save his life and get him back. But in the process, she loses all of her fancy princess clothes and her hair and everything get really messed up and she looks pretty gross by the end. And then when she actually saves the prince, he doesn't really wanna know because he's like, you don't look like a princess anymore. And then she's like, at the end, she skips off and she's like, Ronald, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you're a bum. And she didn't marry him after all. And I just love, like, she's like skipping away. And I don't know, I just think it's like, it would be a great addition to any little girl's like book collection because it's like, you don't need him. You don't need to look nice all the time. Um, this next one is a great one. There's this website, I think it's called Pen Wizard. Yeah, Pen Wizard. And basically you can go on and personalize their books. So my kids all love Peppa. 
So for a Father's Day, I went on and did like a Father's Day personalized book. So you actually choose what daddy looks like and then I chose what all the boys look like. And then throughout the book, it talks about daddy, Fraser, Caleb and Jackson. So they love the fact that it is their names and then that they're actually in the book. So there's all kinds of different ones. I'll link the website down below if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, that's like a, quite a cool one to do. They also love the room on the broom. I'm sure you guys will know this. It's actually even been made into a film now. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cute story about this witch who gets all these different animals to join in on the broom. Um, and then they fight dragons and do all kinds of stuff. It's a really, really good one. Then I also love these books by Chris Houghton. I randomly got sent these by a PR, but my kids really like them. What we like about them is the illustrations. They're so bright and colorful. Let me just show you. And they're really, really lovely, look. And they're good little stories as well, but I think the colors are really like, wow, especially for little ones. They really like both of them. So we've got um, Oh No George and A Bit Lost, which is like this little owl that gets lost in the woods. Flying through these because I just don't want this to be the longest video ever. But next up, we have Oi Frog. And because the kids loved Oi Frog so much, we ended up buying Oi Dog as well. So they're like little rhyming books. They're really cute. It's about this cat who is telling this frog to sit on a log and she's telling the frog how all animals have to sit on things that they rhyme with. So like gophers have to sit on sofas. Um, yeah, lions sit on irons. It goes on and on, but it is quite funny and the kids have loved um, both of these ones. This next book is my favorite children's book in the entire world. This is my favorite one out of all the books that I'm showing you. I just love the messaging in it. It's an old but a goodie. It is The Little Engine That Could by Watty Piper. I hope I've said that right. Um, it's, a, it's a classic, um, but it's all about this little train that breaks down and there's lots of little toys on that train and it needs a train to pull it over the mountain so that it can deliver lots of presents and food to children. Loads of big trains turn down helping it and then in the end, this little engine um, says like he doesn't think he can pull them over the mountain but he's gonna try and he tries really hard and the whole thing at the end is he's chanting I think I can I think I can I think I can and he does it and I just think it's it's a great little message for kids like if you don't think you can do something but you really really try and you like think you can then you probably can so I don't know I just love that book I think it'd be a really nice gift and I actually wrote in this one um, to Fraser in it dear Fraser I think Think you can love mummy and that was in 2013 um, before Caleb was born so yeah it's a really special one then this next one my mum actually bought with the boys it is called this is not my hat and it's about this little fish that steals a hat and he thinks he's got away with it but then he hasn't got away with it and it's funny uh, but it's also a really good message again that you can't just steal things this is another classic I'm sure some of you have heard of it it's the tiger that came to tea I know this book so well from reading it it is the type of book I can turn off all the lights and just recite to the boys so if I'm ever trying to calm them down I can like tickle their back and just say this story if I say oh you can have one more story but I'm gonna tell you it um, I, know, I just know this one because it's you know it's about a tiger that came to tea and then he ends up eating everything in the house and leaving them with no food and then they have to tell daddy and go out for dinner and go to the supermarket and get more food but yeah they really really like that one and then finally on to my eldest he's really into reading he's just turned eight years old and last year I got him the box set of all the Roald Dahl books and he read them all quite quickly really for a little boy um, and his favorite ones he, he did enjoy all of them but I would say his absolute favorite one in the collection was Matilda. I think this is a really good first novel if your child wants to like move on to a bigger book. He also really loved witches. He said it was a little bit scary but he really liked it. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory he also loved and BFG as well. Um, also he has really enjoyed, he's only read the first one but the first Harry Potter book. We haven't moved on to any of the others yet but he has seen the films. Um, and then the last one is such a nice one for this time of year as well. It is the Christmas Saurus by Tom Fletcher and when I ordered this I genuinely thought it was going to be like the dinosaur that pooed books. I just thought it was going to be a small 
more thin book and it's a proper novel and it's all about this dinosaur who like saves Christmas and it's really really good we've read it three times so it's that good and we've actually even been to see the show um, so yeah I really recommend this one if you have a seven or eight or nine year old it's a really nice one as well but yeah sorry that is so many books but once I got started I was like oh and that one they love that one they love that one but there are so many books upstairs that they just don't even read that I should probably donate so I really hope that you like this video and that some of my recommendations can be enjoyed by your family and yeah thank you so much for watching ask me any questions or comment below if you want to and I will see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.